Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. I'm going to be trying out the Stowaway Gourmet Bison Beer Black Bean Chili. Never had this before, looking forward to trying it. <coughs> Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. You're probably wondering what the hell, we just saw this yesterday, if you saw that video. What I'm doing is I'm doing a behind the scenes look of what goes into making a video. I thought it'd be kind of fun, and for those of you who are interested, now I'm going to be doing this video for this uh, meal, and I'm going to be shooting them at the same time, just so you guys kind of have an idea of what I do, what I go through. Also, when I go home, I'm going to do a little editing. You guys, I'm not going to probably edit the whole video, but I'll, I'll probably show parts of the editing, a little bit of my thought process and whatnot. So, um... Now, right now, so during the week, Mondays, I don't upload anything. I, I just, I kind of, it's kind of the, the day off for the channel. Um, I'll still res respond to comments and whatnot, because that's like basically the first thing I do is I, I wake up, I sit in front of breakfast, I eat my breakfast, I watch a video or two, then I log in, and I start answering comments. And I do it seven days a week. If there's a comment, I respond to it. In fact, if you pick a video on my channel if you go through it I pretty much respond to everything so we'll always respond to comments and uh, I will occasionally upload something if it's um, like a VR or it's like a really quick excuse me a real quick review um, yeah so if I'm doing that I'll set you know, I'll pop that up um, usually I try not to but we'll you know it just depends also depends on how many clips I have and videos I have to upload. Um, as far as, you know, then Tuesday it's Local Eats, which I've already got two videos shot for Local Eats. One I need to, actually both I need to edit, but I need to edit the one for this coming Tuesday. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. Um, today is Saturday, what's the actual date? I think it's the 26th? No. Yeah, it was 26. So today's 26. I loaded my today. I uploaded uh, scheduled actually my can a Stanley Cup set video, which you know I responded to all the comments before I left the house today. Then, um, and then tomorrow is the peak biscuits and gravy video. I shot those basically one after another. I did the did that video and I did both. I shot them both right here. It's actually at the same spot. I'm at the end of the, I'm at this cul-de-sac that I've been shooting my videos at. Just over there, one road over, well through the woods, but there's a road over there, but it's, uh, it ends in a school and there's always traffic. So when I was filming there, there's they're constantly just car, car, car. So I came over here because it's quiet. So, and then Wednesday is Cast Iron Wednesday which I haven't shot that video yet, so I'm hoping to do something. It might be a little close, but I'm, I'm gonna try to get something shot Monday or Tuesday and um, get that edited for Wednesday. And then Thursday's a day off, and then I do Fire It Up Friday, and then I do a Saturday, Sunday video. So this video will be on Sunday. The, this will be Saturday planned. Then I just, the next week will repeat itself. So I always shoot all my videos in advance. I'll often I'll even have them ed edited in advance and then I'll, um, sometimes I'll just go ahead and, I had the, the whole last week scheduled like on like Tuesday. I, I sat there and I just, I, I did the local eats, answered the comments. And then I just sat there and uploaded videos and I had fired up Friday already shot, so I had to, all I had to do is go in my room, set up my sticker board, do the shout out. I pieced it together, added a little bit of music and whatnot. So, man, I had a shower and everything. Itching. I haven't worn this hat in a while. It's my, uh, I got this at the store called the Outdoor Emporium. It's a Stetson. I just liked it, so I bought it. And it, it goes with the, the redhead fleece, a thicker fleece I've been wearing. It's not super cold today though, but it's comfortable. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the week for that.
Okay, so what I'll do is off camera, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but I'll go through and I'll set up all my, set up everything. So sometimes I include this setup and sometimes I do not. It just depends. Usually if I'm using a new stove, I'll, I'll show the setup a little bit. But, uh, like this one here, I typically wouldn't because I've already done several shots setting it up. Or I might shoot a little bit of video and then just run it at high speed. So it'll, I'll compress like five minutes of footage down to like 30 seconds from uh, just cutting out the clips and piecing them all together and then whatnot. Let me get all this set up off camera. Alright, so I'm basically done with the whole video. Then comes the, uh, the fun of packing up, putting everything away. I'll go home and uh, wash the cook pot out, wash the bowls out. Although I, I didn't get the pot dirty, but I did, I'll have to rinse it out at least. Because I put the dirty bowls inside of it so it wouldn't mess up my backpack. So I don't really do anything special with the gear when I pack it away. I just, you know, I just pack it up. What do I do with that piece? Oh. I decided to use the butane stove today because I used the uh, Fancy Feet stove last week. So I try to occasionally mix it up so it's not just same stove every time. Because, you know, variety is the spice of life. <clears throat> Get that put away. Yeah, a little tip too. Put your cap inside your stove bag so you don't have to worry about losing your cap. That way if the button gets depressed in the bag while I'm driving, I won't I won't be going and losing all my fluid. Alrighty, so I'm home at my computer now and I uh, was asked how I get the footage off my camera. So what I do is I, I the camera comes with a I hope you guys can see that. Let's see. Uh, it's just a USB plug-in. And all I do is I just plug it in a computer. I don't use a cell phone or anything. I just use I don't even use cameras. I don't I don't ever use my cell phone for filming. Then if you open up the thing, you'll have a little, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little USB plug. Which, you know, never wants to go in the first time. Is it going in the right way? Why they couldn't design it so it just slides in either way? Okay. Now once you plug it in the computer, it automatically connects. So I'm running YouTube right now because I'm watching all your videos and then I, I have a folder called uh, loading zone which is it's right on my desktop I don't know if you can see that but there we go <clears throat> so what I do is I will open up my PC or my computer I'll go to the file that's des designated for um, the computer for the f camera so, hope you guys can see that okay. I'll just, this is a Nikon here, and I'll just open a file that's going to be in there. So here are the clips I shot, plus one image. So I'll drag it over to the other computer. Control A, just select them all. Uh, what I do is I open up several um, folders here. So I have, uh, I have one for when I shot... For the camera, I still have the footage. I get it delete. Cast Iron Wednesday, which there's no footage shot yet. 
uh, fired up Friday which I all I have here is just the the, the, the outro sh clip I shot so this is last Friday's video and a little b-roll uh, so I titled the folder inception and I just go back to this one control a and I just simply drag them over and I let them load up So now I'm uh, recording on a Nikon, and it's literally just the same thing as the other camera. I just open the files, dig into the camera. You can see all the clips I have shot. Just control A, and I'll just simply drag them over. And I'll let that run, and it'll copy basically all the, full, all the files from the camera to the computer. And when that's done, I'll bring it back. All right. Once everything is moved over to the new folder, I will go ahead and just delete everything in the, on the SD card and clear it. I don't need anything else on there. All the other folders are empty. That's it. SD card clear. Now, I'll go ahead and... Uh, now this camera doesn't, to my knowledge, this camera doesn't charge. This Canon doesn't charge for, on the computer like the Nikon does. But I can just simply uh, plug the camera battery in. And then I'll just charge it while I'm off doing stuff. So right, That is all of this. So I have... Oh, I can clear that. Um, well, I'm actually uh, uploading. Uh, I'm actually uploading local eats video. I guess I can give you a little sneak peek. I'm doing one on uh, a wiener sniffle, which I've never never had before. So I wasn't really planning on doing this, but. You know, select and add it to my local eats playlist. Then I'll go ahead and I'll flood the description with links. So I'll go and get uh, the menu, the main, and I'll just set, uh, check out their website. Come on, hands, work. Now, how can you be on a computer all the time and then not be good at typing when you type all the time? Then I'll add the little tags down below. So I just do hashtag local eats. And then it will appear when you when you go to a video. Um, let's go to my channel. So when you click like today's uh, peak refuel video, uh, you see how it's got the little the little tags up here. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe you can't really see that. But. Oh, so right here I've got the little tags, and uh, yeah, that's that's how you get those little tags there. So local eats. Hashtag Wiener uh, oop. Got the link in there. Let's see. I'll put the hot dogs. So, yeah, I notice anything more than three, they won't show up. Then I'll just scroll, and now I have a choice of three thumbnails I can go by. I usually, I don't do custom thumbnails, I just go with whatever, I usually, I'm usually pretty happy with them. And if you go show more, you can roll down, and there's a bunch of tags, so you can put, uh, you know. Put tags in the, in the 
lower our description. So, I don't know, so you can see, so tag your videos. Chili dog. Yeah, I suppose these are keywords that help when you do searches. So if you go to like a channel, and like my main channel, if you go to uh, my channel, pause your thing. If you go to videos and you just click search under videos, and I just typed in like um, feral rod and hit enter. I'll get a whole bunch of videos, all that has feral rod either in the title or in the tags. So, like, new feral rod and scraper. Or, I could do cooking. Cooking, see, it brings up a bunch of cooking videos, like home, or... I just saw pie irons as a second one, so I could... Click it down to pie irons, and it's just it lists only pie iron videos. So, or cast iron. That's how you look for videos on a channel, by the way. You just kind of scroll through and pick that one you want. Anyway, so I got all these uh, clips, and I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna just. Get ready and go. I'm gonna go visit my parents today, so I'm gonna go uh, visit them, and then uh, I'll probably just work on this and then record more a little, little bit later, so I can work on this basically all week. So, let's see what's a clip. Oh, I guess I can show you one one real quick thing. A little editing. I I got the full video on editing, but. Uh, you know, I use Windows Movie Maker, and uh, I got this clip here. It's uh, me eating. It. So what I'll do is I'll just drag it over and wait for it because I gotta wait for the file to load up. And what I do with the other clip? Is that the same thing? I think it is. I hope it is. Uh, if you go up to edit, you just hit edit, hit trim, and you can trim off all the uh, all the portions of the video. Like where I want it to stop, I'll just I'll take a bite in 28 seconds. Hit tr uh, save. Go up to home. Recommended for this channel. I go to. Uh, Go to the folder, look for the one, so it's MV1, so MV12530, find the file, and all I do is to, to identify that I've actually edited it, I'll put a little E there, and I'll just save it, it should save pretty quickly because it's, uh, um, you know, the background is actually different. I may have screwed that up. So. Unless it's actually this one. No, I did screw that up. See, the background is different. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll just... If you bring the same uh, title over... I can just, uh, under animations, I can put, uh, crossfade. This is how I do these shots. I just do it because I like it. It's creator's choice. So it'll be four seconds of background. Then the crossfade shot while I'm taking a bite. Of the chili. See, it actually it feels a little long, so I could, uh, I could actually go and fix this. And then it will crossfade back to the next uh, first clip again. And then I fade out. But this this clip here though. I could 
kick up the speed to four. Let's see how that looks. So watch. Uh, it doesn't look natural. So I'll go up to two. It feels quicker. It's only 19 seconds total, so I'm okay with that. Then I'll crossfade back to the old background, which normally I shoot the uh, shoot the background for four seconds, and then I eat, and then I go, and then I put it back. So it's actually not the same background as this clip. You can see it's actually different, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'll go up to same thing. Uh, record this. I look for the file with the name. Uh, 30, and then what I'll do is instead of an E, I'll put an F, capital F, so I know it's it's finished in quotes. That's just a little editing trick, and I'll I'll slip that into the video. So I basically turned a turned a clip. Uh, where is it? Here. I turned this clip that was 24 seconds down to only 19 seconds. So I get the background, the fade in while I eat. Gives a little, little contrast to the video, and then I'll fade out again. That's how I do that. Pretty simple. I go over a little bit more detail. Oh, one thing I like to do too is uh, real quick, I'll make a new folder, and I'll just call it used, and I'll take that clip, the original clip, and I'll just throw it in the folder. And I'll take this one too, drop it in there. That way it's out of my window. So when I'm dragging them over, if I'm making a video, and I drag over a clip, you know, I'll grab the next clip and drag it over, and then the third clip and drag it over. Oop. I overshot. That way, that's how sometimes that uh, I'll do a double clip because I'll forget to move it over. I'll forget to move it over to the use folder, and then it ends up I end up going the clip and then the clip again, which I hate doing, but and I don't do it on purpose, but. You know, it happens. Alright. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention. Um, something that I do in on every video regardless is uh, once I get through all the... I get through the details, the monetization, which is on, availabil uh, ad availability, a lot of crap you got to click through. Video elements, just hit next. Uh, the checks... Got the green light on all the checks. So boom, boom. Next. And you get to this final screen. So I can check the uh, edits. One thing I wanted to do as well. And I forget, keep forgetting to do this. But there we go. Let's put a little punctuation in here. Alright. Then I always, always schedule every single video that you know, goes up at midnight is because i scheduled it now today is the 28 uh, 27th and it always defaults the next day so i'm gonna go march uh, 1st at midnight i got my thumbnail which i'm okay with i got my schedule for uh, tuesday march 5th uh, 1st yeah and then um then i'll go ahead and schedule it so, this is a local eat. So, this will be uh, last Tuesday's video. I'm planning on putting this up on Sunday. So, then I'll just go ahead and schedule it. And I don't have a local, I don't have a Cast Iron Wednesday to put up yet. Because, um, um, what is it? Oh, yeah, I haven't shot it yet. So, so, it's, uh, Video scheduled. I'll always schedule. So, there you go. 2,831 subscribers. A whopping $49 after 
like six months. Yeah, rolling in the huge bucks. Oh, there you go. Then go ahead and close out all these. And... Sweet.